Hello. Uh, today I'm going to share with you the uh, North Gaia, the facilities and the site plan. Okay, so let's get started right now. Okay, so first of all, I would like to share the rationale for the name itself because I find it very interesting. North Gaia um, it actually take inspiration from two elements. One is Gaia. Gaia is the great goddess of Earth. And then another one, of course, is the North. That simply represents the North sector of Singapore. So these two elements basically meaning that this location is at the North sector of the Singapore and it is uh, with a, a big affiliation to its natural surroundings. So here, let's take a look at the uh, basic project information. The developer is Sing Holding, and altogether we have 616 units. Car park lots is one to one, and the land site area is about 21,500 square meters, which is a pretty decent land size. Unit mix, we have three, four, and five bedrooms with the smallest unit from 958 square feet to the biggest at 1,593 square feet. So take a quick look at the location itself. From this map, you can see that this location is well surrounded by nature. Okay, on our north side, this is the uh, Katip Bongsu Nature Park which is currently a, a mangrove forest area. But in future, the government is going to develop into a 40 hectare of nature park, which will be ready by 2024. And then at the south side, we have Orchid Country Club. And we also have the Upper Salita Nature Reserve, as well as Sambawang Country Club in the west. So in terms of amenities, uh, within one minute, basically just at your doorstep, you have the park connector. It's well surrounded by the, uh, supported by the park connector. And about three to five minutes walk, you will reach Junction 9 shopping mall. And if you drive, you can easily reach the um, hospital in about five minutes and the North Point shopping mall also in five minutes, which is the biggest shopping mall in the north. All right, about seven minutes, you will reach Innova JC and as well as Orchid Country Club. And within 10 minutes drive, you will reach Salita Airport and Sembawang Country Club. So this is the um, bird eye view of the actual site. This is the North Daya EC site. And beside us, this is the Symphony Suites. It's a condominium. And then on this side is the Katik Bonsu Park. And in future, in front of us, this is a more, also another park built by HDB. Okay, so towards the uh, Katik Bonsu, you have a very good view of the green and the blue. And also towards south, you will also have a good view of our future park, as well as the canal. Okay, so from the high floor, this is going to be the fantastic view for the forest and the sea beyond. So architecture is um, mainly for uh, timeless design, adaptable and family oriented. So this is the building facade. Okay, so uh, as you can see that the building orientation is tilted so that you can maximize the um, nature park view as well as the uh, future park view. All right, so in terms of uh, swimming pools, we have two major pool. One is 50 meter leisure pool and another one is the 50 meter lap pool over here. And also in terms of the uh, clubhouse, I think this is the main highlight for this EC. We do not only have one clubhouse, but we have seven of them. 
So this is really very luxurious because even in a condo, we seldom can see any condos that has so many indoor clubhouse. Later on, I will talk about the individual clubhouse in more details. So as you can see, our e-deck or the facility deck is elevated from the ground level. This is to maximize the um, view and the privacy at the same time to minimize the noise from the road level. And also, if you notice, our bin center and substations are underground. So there's no units that is um, having a direct view of the bin center. Okay. So this is our uh, site plan. As you can see that we have almost 60 over facilities inside this development itself. Okay, so talk about the water bodies. Apart from the uh, two 50 meter lap pool, we also have a few other water features. One is at the entrance, we have actually a three meter waterfall just at the drop off area. And then we also have some spa and jet pool near to the 50 meter lap pool, leisure pool area. All right. And we also have Lotus Pond at the uh, near to the 50 meter lap pool area. Okay. So quite a number of uh, water facilities. And also for playground, we have two sets of them. One is at the um, north side. So over here we have play garden with uh, trampoline park and also a small flying fox area and then another playground is at this site okay and uh, also for the uh, more passive amenities we have like a tai chi lawn reading alcove and relaxation lawns etc so that you can have some quiet and peaceful time by yourself Okay, so this is the uh, clubhouse. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are all indoor. Okay, and then um, barbecue areas, they are all located here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so for our major function room, right? This is our major function room with a family party room and a gym area is over here and then um, one thing that i do like about this development is that the gym is really a good size you can see we have more than 10 um, workout equipments inside the gym itself not like some of the ecs that um, you see it's really very small gym with a very cramped area so you can hardly uh, do a good workout inside but this is a very good gym okay and then <clears throat> sorry okay and this this is just talk about the drop out area in the drop out area we have three clubhouses okay one is the arrival lobby so this is the indoor aircon room with a lounge area with some sofa for you to sit there and relax so you can just have a chit chat with the residents the neighbors or sometimes if you need to wait for taxi you can uh, just wait inside this aircon room instead of you know waiting under the hot sun and then also we have a co-working space as you can see over here we have a um, very long table at this area so this is good for a group discussion and if you have just like a, a small group private discussion you can use this small table at this area and then if you need to meet with your client to do a presentation then you can book this meeting room because this is a very proper meeting room come with a eight seater tables and chairs and also you will have a projector here provided so uh, you will notice that this uh, function room the co-working space and meeting room is just at the drop-off area so the good thing is that uh, you can just meet them at the uh, drop-off area without disturbing the residents inside the uh, development itself. So next we come to the another set of function room. So here we have um, a dining room. As you can see, we also have the kitchen inside this 
a dining room. So you can actually invite a private chef to provide uh, food for your privileged guests, yeah, if you want to. And then also we have another function room at this area. Okay. And then at this side, this is our entertainment room. Okay, it also have two sectors. One sector is more squarish uh, room. This is a place that you can play some board games with your friends or families. Or you could use this room is our theater room okay, for a movie night. Because it does come with a smart TV and uh, integrated sound system. Okay, so now I just want to talk a little bit about the architectural facade concept. Okay, as you know that uh, this architecture design got a lot of inspiration from the mangrove nearby and um, mainly taking the shape and profile of the root itself. So the architect actually transfer, transform this um, architect into an architectural language of uh, clean lines in terms of horizontal and vertical lines. So you can see a lot of uh, horizontal and vertical lines in the building facade. Okay, so this is a view from the park connector for the building. And this is uh, from another angle. As you can see, the uh, crown, the roof crown, and the balcony railings is taken the color from the nature brown. Okay, unit layout plans. This is our three bedroom unit layout. So there's two things that I want to highlight over here. So basically, the unit layout is going to be very flexible and adaptable. As you can see, all these walls. You can easily hack away, yeah. So that you can customize the unit to your own likings. If you need a bigger living room, you can hack away this wall and then make it into a big living area. And if you need to make a bigger master bedroom, then you can combine these two rooms and convert this space into a home office. And for the utility and study room area, you also can do your own configuration. Either change it into a guest room by putting into a single bed and a small study desk here, or to convert into a hobby room with a bigger desk and armchair over here. So this is just one example so that if you want to combine the master and the common bedroom, it will become a very big master suite itself okay lastly i want to go through the uh, two easy payment scheme okay uh, one is deferred payment scheme one is normal payment scheme so the main difference is that normal payment scheme also known as uh, normal progressive scheme okay so the down payment that you need to pay is about 25 percent so for example, if you're buying a 1 million property, the down payment will be 250,000. Okay. After that, the 75%, you can take bank loan. All right. And then this bank loan, right, it will, it will start to service the mortgage uh, in the construction stage. So when the foundation is done, the bank will disperse 5%. And then you start to service about two to $300 per month. And then when it goes to the next stage, uh, the concrete works, then the bank will disperse another 10%. The monthly installment will increase to probably around five to $600 per month. So this will just continue and then all the way to TOP time. By then, your monthly installment probably around two to 3000 per month, depending how big the unit that you purchase, right? And then uh, for the deferred payment scheme, uh, your down payment, you only need to pay 20% instead of 25%. And then all the other 80%, we will defer to TOP time. So meaning you pay $0 during the construction period. Then what is the catch? Okay, in order to uh, enjoy a 3% extra discount on the pricing you have to choose normal payment scheme 
All right, so uh, you can make a, a decision which scheme works better for you. And then uh, we can have a more detailed discussion in the show flat. And then um, by doing a proper financial calculation, then uh, we, we would be able to give you a better advice on which scheme would work better for you. Okay, so today's session, um, I think we'll just cover until here. And then uh, welcome to visit our show flat. And I will go through the other details of the uh, interior design and uh, unit layout, the unit selection, etc. in the show flat itself. Okay, have a nice day, everyone. See you in the show flat soon. Bye-bye.